Hello everyone, it is I, the Faceless Reviewer. Today I have for you a review on... <coughs> Sorry, a little frog in my throat. <coughs> okay, better. Uh, review from Start Makers 11 piece uh, bamboo handled makeup brushes, foundation, blending, sponge. It. So it comes in this really cute bag and um, as always I will put the product link uh, down below. This goes for $11.99 on Amazon. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm, I'm not going to put this on my face because I am the faceless reviewer but I will try these. Oh! <laughs> the sponge attacked me. Try these brushes out on my hand um, with as dark a makeup as possible so we can see how well they work. Um, I'm really kind of interested. First of all, hello. That's a nice bamboo handle. It's really pretty and it's like varnished. Cute. These are um, these flat kabuki brushes are supposed to be really good for um, foundation or powder so but I want you to be able to see I guess we can try no dang it I guess we should try like some uh, eyeshadow with it so you can really see Ooh, that's dark. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can really see the um, pigment distribution. So I'm going to start first with this little bad boy. And I'm going to use some of this um, purple right there. So you can see I got a little bit on the brush there. I guess I should make it darker. That's the whole point, right? All right. So I'm going to put it right here on my hand. Ooh. Actually, I mean, you can really hardly see that because it, it just smooths it out so much. There's just like a purple shimmer here. I don't even know if you'll be able to pick that up, but that's how perfectly this, bu this brush blends it. I mean, it was like immediately an airbrush effect. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I should try something darker. Maybe this color over here, this deep dark purple, but it's so tiny. I should have brought it. This is only on half the brush. Ah, there we go. So you can see that, I'm sure. And then, but look how it just smooths it right out. So now it looks, looks like my hand's bruised. <laughs> Anyways, that's from the flat brush. There is a little product remaining on it. It's silky smooth, these bristles. All right, so there's one. And then we have a couple other flat type brushes here. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry, mistaken. One flat type brush that I assume is gonna give us very similar results. It's just got a long, longer handle. So I'm gonna dip it in that same purple and we'll give it a, a go here. There's the purple color. So if you just pat it, puts the pigment on really dark and then a few brushes and and look it's completely blended all right and then if we have a rounded one so let me I'm just going to use that same purple because it seems to work the best for displaying okay so let's go here Oh, okay, so this one actually keeps it kind of concentrated. Can you see that? It keeps it kind of concentrated at the center. And then it just kind of fades out the edges. It's interesting. I mean, if I keep working at this, I'm sure it would blend in. But it's that curve that does that for you. All right. That's, I'm, I'm trying to work my way down from biggest to little, littlest. Uh, brush. 
Another thing I should probably note is that the fair rule, I think that's how you pronounce it, right here on the brush seems to be um, nicely made. The bristles are firmly held by it. I don't have any bristles coming loose. They are very soft though, as I mentioned already. So here's the handle on this one. Um, I feel like we should try for a different color, but hmm. I had a small interruption there, but I am back. Okay, so we were doing this brush here, and I'm going to do it with that same purple. All right, so this gives a, a much lighter effect than that last one. It's, it's not as dense as those last three brushes, so you get less pigment just jabbed on you right away. And it's, I think that would be really great for like blush or contouring. Okay, and then our next brush is this flat tipped, or flat oval tipped, I should say, brush. So this actually is a really great foundation brush. Um, I'm going to use some foundation for it because that's its purpose. And since I have some purple down here, maybe we can, we can see against the purple. Okay, so I'm just going to dip it. And try to get, angle this in so you can see it. All right, you can see that, right? Okay, so I, if you want full coverage, tapping it on with one of these really works great. And then you can just smooth the edges. And as you can see, it covered that purple right up. And that's with that foundation brush. Okay, now we have, what's the next one? Oh, we've got one of these big puffy um, shadow brushes. So that's, that's great for a light distri distribution. I'm gonna use that same purple so you know what I'm talking about. So if you're, doing, you know, you're doing your eyeshadow and you want a full thing of color, that gets it it's a nice, a nice color wash across your eyelid. See that? So not really a definition brush. This is more of a blending or a color wash um, blush, brush. Sorry. So also if like if you've put all your makeup down already, your eyeshadow down, and you want to go back and blend it all together, this is a really great brush for that. You just keep blending, and it's really soft, so it's not going to hurt your eyelid. Nice brush. Okay, so now we're getting into the more precision tipped eyeshadow brushes. This one has an angle to it, so you can really get into the crease. If, this one I like doing like right at the crease, at, starting at the center of your eye and then going out, and then this will give you a nice big, here I'll show you. I don't know why I'm talking about it, and I can just show you. So say this is your eye here, and you want just a little bit towards the center, and then you want a big shadow at the end. See what that does? And then you can even come back and fill that in a little bit more. But this tip allows you to go thick at one place and then down. Let me angle you this way. I don't know why I was angling my wrist like that. And I could have just done this. See? So you can go thick to thin with this. And that again is this this brush here. All right. Now, oh, let's go with this one next. Okay. So this this looks almost like a paintbrush. Uh, well, I mean, of course they all look like paintbrushes, duh. But this looks like like those ones we used to get with watercolor sets. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, but it's a nice big blending brush again. Let's see. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna take this swipe that I've already done and use this to blend it out so you can see what I mean. See that? 
so the edges just disappear and fade. And you get a nice smooth finish. Perfect. And that again is this brush, this little fluffy one. Then we have, let's see, let's go with this flat one first. These types of flat eyeshadow brushes, this aside, will give you a nice crisp line. If you're looking for like, if you want to darken the bottom under your lash, or if you want above your lash, you know, just give that shadow right around your lashes. These kind of brushes are really good for that. Okay. But what's even better, that'll give you a thick line. This one will give you a thin line. This is this is a great brush. Um, sorry, I just dipped it before showing it to you. But you see how it's flat and angled? This is a really great brush for even liquid eyeliner. I'll give you right next to this line. I'm going to do a line here so you can see the difference. See? That gives you a nice wispy end. That's a really great brush. Okay. <clears throat> One more brush to go. And that is this rounded tip. I'll put it this way so you can really see how rounded that is. So this will really deposit pigment. At least that's what I'm, I'm expecting. So let's take a look at it right here. Yeah, I mean, hello. <laughs> that's a that's a pigment depositor brush right there. So you can just do this kind of maneuver and really, in fact, you know, I would just use this, deposit the pigment, and then I would come back with one of these fluffy brushes over here and smooth it out with one of these. All right, folks. So that's all the brushes, but they also include a nice little beauty blender. I don't really think I need to go over this. This is your typical, oh, I've already got cat fur on it. I mean, God, that stuff gets everywhere. I swear I can open something brand new, set it down on a clean surface, and within seconds there's cat fur on it. It's like hover hovering in the atmosphere. It's just everywhere. Anyways, sorry. But this is your typical beauty blender. The one thing I just want to show you is it's got the rounded bottom, which of course is great for blending. And then it has a really nice sharp tip. I mean, not sharp, but you know, it's a good sharp point. It comes to a nice point there so you can get it into little crevices like around your eye, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Nice little bonus there. Again, I'm going to just lay out all these brushes right here so you can see the full collection. Okay. Oh, sorry. I've got all kinds of <laughs> stuff from my books here. Uh, okay. So here is the set. And again, this is um, Start Makers 11 piece bamboo handled brush set with the bonus cosmetic sponge. Um, I hope that this review has helped you to make a decision on the product. I thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my review, please subscribe and then you can see me next time. Aloha.